Okay, so this is Media Centre running it on the HP Touch Mark with the multi touch enabled. So, as you can see, I can flick through this. This is really nice. Let's go to uh, the guide. And I can flick through it. I can go up and down with that. Isn't that great? I really like that. And, uh, I really like that. Okay, so let's go to recorded TV. We've got the shared view. We'll just go with uh, recorded TV. Let's pick a show. And see, we can uh, watch that. Again, this is just pretty much standard media centre. You've seen four differences. We have got a we have got the option of jumping around here, which I really like. The other thing that's slightly changed is the information panel, the I button. So now you've got program information. Uh, let's do that again. Um, we can use these. Your details. We've got the zoom. We can actually change, change zooms. Say that one. And of course, all this is controllable through remote as well. So recorded TV playback, very similar. Um, this information panel is obviously different, where we can choose. We can look at actions. We can. Other showings. I'm going to record that one. Um, what else have we got on here? So let's go um, back now. Back to recorded TV. Uh, like with the touch, I can scan through that. Really like that. So these are a mixture of recorded TV files recorded from the Vista partition and TV files recorded from uh, from this uh, Windows 7 build. We've got movies, uh, and being in the UK, there's not as much metadata on this. Uh, let's, let's go back to your movies. So we've got some movies that it's pulled out from just recorded TV. These are standard recorded TV files. So look at music now. First thing you'll notice is that for stuff without album art is now colour coded. Um, so it's just made a bit a bit a bit more colourful when it's not got the album art. I uh, see it's starting to, to fill those in. This is the first time I think I've got into into music on the, the, this build. Uh, so I can find it an album and Again, you can do the usual thing, you can scroll through. Uh, let's, so this is still seems to be indexing the the music. Because not everything is on there. Okay, let's go on that one. Okay, so we've got the best of the Eagles. I can play a track on that. <coughs> Now this is very zoom like. I really like the um, this kind of album cover view. It's really nice. This now playing has definitely been improved. I think here uh, it's much nicer. Nice way of the, now playing, and we can do the whole thing, go through the artists and everything else. As I said before, with um, when looking at shared, you can see other machines on there as well. So um, I think I should authorize one, and then we can we 
can try that. Okay, there we go. So there's some podcasts that are on this machine available on there, and uh, I can play those as as I would do normally. So I can play this now. For some reason, it's not pulled the metadata over. In fact, it's lost the metadata on this machine. But as you see, music stored on that machine, played on that machine, and so on. Okay, so I'm going to look at pictures and videos now, just going into a folder. I'll just wait while it builds up these, um, the caches, these images. These are images from, from CES, from the, uh, watching the keynote and some other events. So again, we've got all the touch scrolling on there. Uh, let's do a little slideshow of those. and uh, the usual stuff in Media Centre. Now one thing I haven't got, I haven't been able to get to play yet, is the new kind of screen saver. We'll see if we can get that to, to kick in later, which is a, a sort of picture based screen saver. It's really nice. Now some of the things that I've not been able to show you on here, um, like internet TV and things like that are only available in the US. Uh, over the old media center, this has got, um, over the Windows Vista media center, before TV pack, I can support multiple tuners for different types of guide data, I can have analog, satellite, DVT, and so on. So there's a whole range of new features, but these are the kind of the initial features that I wanted to look at. Uh, looking at the extender, then, uh, this looks exactly the same on an Xbox 360. I've had some issues with the beta on playback, uh, but it's getting there now. So overall, Media Center is uh, a nice step forward. The home group certainly adds a lot to it. Multiple tuners as, and from different sources as well. It's going to be a lot, a lot better for for new for users. So I really like Media Center, and uh, I like the way it responds to the touch as well. I really do think that Media Center is the best way of controlling touch because. Otherwise, you, you know, you're going after pretty small uh, buttons, and if you load up something like Windows Media Player, you know, to get some uh, some of these, it's small menus and things. Whereas in Media Center, you know, it's bigger, it's, it's much more visual. So, Media Center, I do really like in Windows Seven.